Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about java type casting to convert data types and we are going to see certain examples including string to integer conversion so the process of converting the value of one data type such as integer float double or any other data type to another data type is known as type casting now guys where this is important so basically we can have some data in the form of string and you want to add that particular string to some other number so first of all we need to convert that string into an integer before you can add that integer with some other number and in such cases we need to use the type casting over here in order to convert the data types so as you can see over here there are multiple types of type casting over here that is converting of data the very first thing is integer which is of 4 bytes it is converted to a double which is of 8 bytes conversion so basically this is called widening conversion that's because we are going from a lower number of bytes to a higher number of bytes and that is done automatically so guys let me show this with the help of example now so over here in the eclipse id let's say we have the integer number it is equal to 10 and we want to convert this integer to a double so what we can do is we can simply have the double data types that is double and let's say the variable name i provide is double number over here and then it is equal to i just need to provide the variable name that is number over here so i just provide the variable name number over here and then we have the semicolon and then when i want to print this double number i'll simply say double value is followed by colon and then i'll simply use this double number variable so i'll just copy this and paste this over here so guys over here automatically the conversion is taking place that's because integer is of four bytes over here but double is of eight bytes so we are going from a lower byte to the higher byte in which there is no explicit data type that is supposed to be mentioned over here so let me just save this file and try running this code now So as you can see double value is 10.0 is being displayed over here that's because in double we have the decimal values over here so in this way we can convert the integer to a double data type now guys let us move to another example let's say we have double and we want to convert it into an integer which is called narrowing conversion that's because double is of 8 bytes and over here we are going from 8 to 4 bytes over here that is integer and that is why the name that is narrowing conversion so over here what we will do is let's say we already have this double number that is 10.0 now we want to convert it into an integer so what we will do is we will provide int and then the variable name will be int number over here so i have provided int number it is equal to when we simply provide double number over here so i'll just copy this and paste this over here we should get an error so when i provide semicolon it is having a red underline over here it says type mismatch cannot convert from double to int so guys basically we are going from a higher byte to a lower byte that is the reason why it is throwing an error so what we can do is we can do a type casting over here and explicitly we can provide the data type over here before the variable that we have mentioned over here so what i will do is before this double number i will provide open and close parentheses and inside this i will simply provide the data type so as you can see inside the open and close parentheses we have the data type that is integer which is having the lower bytes compared to the variable that we have provided and in this way we can convert the double number to the integer number so over here what i will do is i'll simply copy this print statement and i'll paste this over here i'll say int value is and then i'll provide this int number over here i'll paste this int number so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see double value is 10 the int was converted to double first and then that same double was converted to the integer number and it was stored in this int number and over here we are getting int value is 10 and in this way we can convert the double number to an integer value as well now let us move to another example we have int to string representation example so over here we can use one of the methods of the string so basically let's say if we use the same example that is int number which is having the value 10 what we can do is we can convert convert that value and store it in a string so let's say over here we have string and then the variable name is str what we will do is we cannot simply provide the int number over here so if you think that i can just copy and paste this over here and then it will be converted to the string so it cannot happen in this way what we have to do is we have to use one of the methods inside the string class so over here i will use the string class 
followed by dot and then we have something called as value of so as you can see there are multiple value of methods over here which is called method overloading but the parameters that each of them are taking are different so basically we have to use this value of which is taking the parameter as an integer value so i will use this value of method and the integer value will come from this int number that is being copied over here and then we will have the semicolon and then guys what we can do is simply we can have the print statement and i'll say string value is and then we can have the str over here so i'll say str so guys over here string value is and then 10 should be displayed that's because this integer is now converted to a string value so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see string value is 10 is being displayed over here now guys let us move to another example over here string to int conversion so before this what i will do is i will try to add the string that is the string value is this is stored in str variable over here can we add some other number over here so basically what i'm going to do is i will have the print statement and i'll say add to in str and then followed by colon and then what i will do is inside the brackets i'll say str plus 2 so basically what i'm doing over here is this 10 that is stored in the str i'm adding 2 over here so what should be the value so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see it is saying 102 that's because this 10 is considered as a string over here and you are doing plus 2 over here and this 2 is again converted automatically to a string and it is being concatenated to this string but in case you want to add these two numbers that is you want this string to be a number and 2 should be added to that number that is 10 and the answer must be 12 so in that case what you have to do is you have to use the integer class and then we have something called as parse int method in order to convert from the string to integer so what i will do over here is i will say integer and then we have integer followed by dot we have something called as parse int so basically as you can see parse int it is taking one parameter over here it takes two parameters as well which is a part of method overloading but we will only provide this one parameter which is the string and in this string we will provide str as the string so that this particular str value that is a string value is converted to an integer and that integer is added to 2 and the result is being displayed as the integer value so guys let me just save this file now and try running this code so instead of 102 as you can see we are getting 12 over here so 10 plus 2 it is equal to 12 so in this way we can also convert the string to an integer and while converting the integer to string we have the string dot value of so guys these were some of the examples of typecasting or data type conversion please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is java lambda expressions with the help of examples so stay tuned